I need to go through every single page, but like 54th Massachusetts looks really nice. That's Burma Road Brown. I really do like that one. It just looks like dirty oil. I was exceptionally surprised at how much I really like Socrates. These are all Noodler's inks, just by the way. Just because... That destroyed the page a little bit, trying to water test it. But Socrates is an exceptionally bulletproof ink. I was really happy with it. Even though it's like a purplish pink, kind of like, you know what? For just kind of out of the way. This is not black. This is actually Lexington Gray. I just used the dropper bottle I had it in and just kind of... Mm. Then use the pen I have it in, my Caveco, and take some of the blobs and spread them out just to get an idea. And I thought it was really interesting, the blue that comes away. Maybe. Yeah. You can really see that right there. That's some craziness. And this is like a 20-minute video of just rambling nonsense. You're welcome. I love you guys. Planning a sci-fi story, just using my inks and trying to do something productive. Hmm, that's not quite red black, is it? That's Socrates. I think this was writing with black swan Australian roses. That's Dostoevsky, yeah. Really partial to that Dostoevsky. It's just a beautiful teal. I mean, it's partially bulletproof. Not the greatest. But having ran that under the faucet and did all that, not bad at all. I'd call that recoverable. I mean, it's not like Lexington Gray which just doesn't move, or Massachusetts, 50, 54th Massachusetts. Mm. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned this the other day, Fear is the Mind Killer. That's what's on my Yeti mug. Mm. Thank you. This is all the samples I got last time around, just trying to swab them. That was just, I don't know, some baseline gray, just to kind of get an idea of depth and darkness between some of them. Unfortunately, I haven't been the best at remembering to go back to this page and actually scribble in my ink spots. Because I've, like, actually inked up Black Swan and Australian Roses twice now. And its spots are empty like three times running now just because I keep forgetting. Like, oh yeah, I have this one inked. Let's remember to, yeah, write. And yeah, and that's... Oh, that's... J'ai a bon prix. I think this was the Detrimentis 1864 Blue Black. De Omnibus Disputandum. De everything. I do some sketching. I'm not. I don't claim to be good at it. I'm better at writing. Lots and lots. That's that. I mean, that's just. It's upside down, I know, but hey, so. For one of the, for like the, the first fountain pen friendly notebook I ever had, exceptionally well pleased. I got this, a go book at the same time. This came later and it was next in line, the Claire Fontaine 1951. And I'm getting through it. Which I know probably is like the best way to refer to it, but I mean I really am getting through it. 
Yeah, there's the North African violet. If it'll focus there. So. I'm really liking this Clairefontaine paper, which is why I have the little Clairefontaine classic in my traveler's notebook. Because it's just an exceptional paper. Although, really loving the red black. Really. Like, I think that's going to be like the first bottle of color I buy. That and 54th. And this has just been my bullet journal. Still starting out, getting things going. I keep my little ruler right there on a paper clip, right at the front, right at the index. I don't waste a bookmark on it. I don't have to flip to where the index is. And, you know, got a chunk of it used. Playing with formatting. But just bullet journal things. Getting through some Bujo life. Notes on things. Ah, this was an interesting thing I was trying to come to terms with. Because at some point, I'm going to buy some Tomoy River notebooks. So I was kind of making a list of... On this side, these are all ones I have and am using or have used. These are... All of these are not Tomoy River. All of these are Tomoy River and ones I would like to use at some point just to get an idea on them. So I was taking down some of the basics on them. Like, uh, I know, I can write backwards, but I have a hard time reading upside down. Like the GLP Creations author, the Nanomi Cafe note, the Seven Seas, a Hippo Noto, an enigma. I'm kind of thinking, leaning towards the author, because the pages are already numbered. And it's kind of like that slim size, so like, I kind of want to be able to fit either in my pocket, in my jacket, or my back jeans pocket. And I would value that in a notebook. So, barring having, you know, 500 or 480 pages of just sexy Tomoy River having 192 pages well 86 sheets of Tomoy River to mess around with especially as you know kind of like a first Tomoy River notebook although I, I will have to at some point get A little one of those little a Goulet notebook just because it's it'll fit in here which is where I do a lot of my on-the-go stuff like this sketch at a park last night no I'm not winning no art awards nor do I care to but this is just kind of the impression that the park left on me from where I was sitting on a much graffitied bench there's the street you know the building so I mean it just this is a little Fabriano I got a few of these to go through and then maybe having a Timoy River would be nice and this is the little Claire Fontaine and yeah, I traveler's notebooked these, because why not? This used to just have a single field notes in it, and that was, it was great. I loved my little field notes, but when I have the opportunity to have, like, actual fountain pen friendly paper in here, why wouldn't I? I mean, it just slides in in the back. And then you can see that green right there. That's a bungee cord, and that's what's keeping them together. It's got an elastic closure strap. 
and a little pen pocket on the front. Granted, it won't really fit any of my fountain pens, and I don't trust having a even my like my little my Charlie will fit in here. But just as hard as it is to pull in and out, I keep just this in like for traveling because I'll put my actual pen in my pocket. And this is just a Fisher Space Pen refill. I'm pretty sure this one's black. Yeah. But that'll always work on just about anything I write with. And I just kind of made a little easy slip so it gets in and out. I can grab it with my teeth, my fingers, just whatever. And you have a little pen and a pinch to always stay with this notebook. It takes up, I mean, look, this is pocket size. This will fit in my back pocket. This will fit in one of my Napoleon pockets on my jackets. Just super handy. Also, since magnets, I've got a magnet in there. And you're like, prove it. There you go. That's... Got all the proof you can need to nothing else holding that holding that pen on there. It's not clipped to anything. So yeah. I mean I do sometimes like if I'm gonna be at a place, I will. I'll do this weird thing. I'll clip ah, hold on. It's good thick leather on here. And this is made with real recycled fire hose. I don't know. I'm not trying to... I'm not sponsored by anyone. It'd be really nice to be sponsored by someone, I think. I don't have to mention their product all the time, but... I mean, I'm poor. I could use a sponsorship just to afford my life. But there, you know? And then when I'm... Like, at a cafe, I can keep it like this, and... And then get to town. Well, get to town. Get busy with it! And then just... For Sniggles. Sniggles! My favorite portmanteau of shits and giggles. For snaggles. So. This thing. It's awesome. I've had this a couple of years now. And it's just. It's lived through so many notebooks. That I mean this traveler's little notebook. As long as I don't lose it. Which since it stays in my pocket. Should never happen. I mean, this is EDC right here. This is it. This is just everything I need on a regular basis. This is a titanium spork. I did the paracord wrap myself. I know you're thinking, oh no, disease vector. Yeah, it gets dishwashered as often as possible. And that's just real paracord. It just makes it that much more comfortable. And a spork is the ultimate eating utensil. I don't care what anyone says. It's perfect. And of course, since I drink a lot, and by drink, I mean water, coffee. That's mostly what I drink. <laughs> this happens to be some kind of flavored water. But it was worth investing in an actual mug to keep my drinks cold for an actual period of time. Outside of, you know, like the 45 minutes where most things will... Into the... What's the... See, my brain... Yeah, brain's going blank at this point, so... From me to you... I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe since that's a thing I'm supposed to say now considering this is a YouTube video. So, questions, concerns, comments, you can leave them down below. I will 
Well, this is like my second ever video, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to answer just about any question or comment you have. Ideas for more videos, what you'd like to see me do on a regular basis. Maybe you want to watch me cook. Maybe you just want to watch me sit here and do very little. I think that'd be, let's say, interesting tell of your personality if that's what you want to see of me but i'm not judging i'm just so <laughs> anyways from portland with love good night